I'm here with Dud Kursky. He's one of the A4 pilots, and you flew in the Marines. That's correct, I did. Okay. Would you give us a walk around of the plane here? I sure will. Okay. From a pilot's point of view, when you're coming out to the airplane, you're really looking for general security, and in particular around if you're carrying the ordnance. There would be a ladder right here. You go up on the ladder, make sure the gear handle is down, throw your uh, flight bag up there. You walk around, you're looking for general security, making sure that everything's closed up. The plane captains have done a pretty good job of taking care of all the servicing. Always we look in the wheel well, and you're looking for any major, any leaks. It looks, everything looks okay and security there. One of the things you always look for was the landing gear in particular, looking sure that there's security, there's nothing loose, and that the tires are certainly in uh, good shape. Uh, looking for, again, more security, uh, like the ram air turbine, make sure that door's closed. This is the guns, make sure that they're firmly in uh, position because the armorers have, may have taken them out during uh, the last turnaround to clean the guns. By the way, just happen to have one of the 20 millimeter rounds that goes through these things. Another important item when you're aboard ship was to look at these catapult hooks. This is what would hook the sh uh, a bridle to the catapult and you want to make sure that when that, that thing wasn't at all cracked or anything, you take a real close look at that. So it, when it, uh, the cat stroke happened, nothing broke here because that was what you were depending on during the catapult. This here is the uh, bomb rack, the uh, ordnance station. Uh, this, this early model had the one, uh, later models had five of them across the wings. Uh, and you would pay particular attention to how the ordnance was hooked up and it was pro the uh, fusing was done properly. And so that was a really important item. A unique uh, feature of the A4 were these high lift devices, the forward leading edge slats. On the A4, they're aerodynamically operated. In other words, when the airplane is cocked up and you're coming in for approach, these would come out automatically and give the wing more lift. But you'd want to make sure that they would go up and down easily. So this was a pre-flight item to see that they did roll. This one uh, I wouldn't have taken, but it's, uh, it's got to be a, f a free movement. Naturally in the ailerons, you're looking for there's anything that could be uh, projecting here so that there was free movement of the ailerons. In this area here, again, you're looking at the flaps, and there's another inspection panel up here you would look into. Uh, and you look in there to make sure that there was no leaks. Uh, you could see all the control cables through there. Again, for carrier operations, uh, the tail hook is very important to you. That's what you need to, for your rested landings. And you'd want to make sure that there was no dings or anything like that in here that would be stress risers. So you're just looking at good security of if the tail hook was in a good shape. Wouldn't necessarily look at these uh, for a pre-flight, but uh, just to show you, these are the speed brakes that the pilot could deploy, hydro they come out hydraulically, so uh, this is kind of your, gives you a little bit of stopping power when you're in the air there. And that's really about it. As far as maintenance of this thing, uh, I was also a maintenance officer. Uh, it's a straightforward airplane, clean an airplane as you could ask for. Uh, our maintenance per man hours per flight hour were lower than any of the other aircraft in my era. Doug, thank you for doing the walk around. Is there a memorable story that you'd like to share with us? I think my most, well, there are several memorable stories, but I had the good fortune of flying this thing, uh, the A4, on two different cruises. Uh, one was a carrier cruise in the Mediterranean, spent a year uh, working up and then on the uh, cruise itself. And then I was shore based in Vietnam for uh, just over nine months during the uh, tail end of the war there. Uh, plenty of good flying. The carrier experiences was like nothing you've ever seen. Really enjoyed it.